Oh. Oh shit. What's up guys, today I got the Italian out here, gonna give it a quick run, uh, trying out the new M2C towers from Mitch Looper. Uh, something that all us Italian guys have been uh, I've been looking for, waiting on. Uh, so he's finally come through and, uh, and these towers are absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if you can catch it in the camera. Um, I mean, even the engravings and stuff. I mean, just, he really pays attention to detail. And the way these are made with the rib center, with the center being thicker, but yet cut out around, you know, to keep the, to keep the weight down. Uh, you know, again, they're 7075. And also, I changed out my uh, front hubs right here. The uh, they've just uh, been, you know, just dogged to death, and just and they're wore out. And I kept popping out the pillow balls, like in that last video when I was doing some uh, moon launches. Uh, just landing, I, I did it several times after that too. Just landing, the truck was popping out the pillow balls on both sides. They were just they were just wore out. And also, these steering links, I went ahead and put in the V4s with the no pop uh, right here. So I kept having those pop off. You know, again, they were just they were just uh, wore out. It was time to replace them, so went ahead and upgraded to the V4. But anyway, um, this this thing, um, you know, big shout out to my bash buddy and good friend Rich Deeper Bash. Uh, for lack of another words, this thing's went beefcake. I know that's his term. So uh, <laughs> now she's got you know the M2C chassis, the M2C towers, and I did go and uh, equip it too with the uh, M2C uh, uh, shock standoffs. So um, they work very well on my outcast. You just have to make sure to put a lot of Loctite on here to, and, and, and let it set uh, overnight to uh, lock that uh, M4 bolt in. All right, guys, let's give it a run, see how it goes. Oh, ramp shaver. <laughs> That was a good tower test. <laughs> Landed right on the lid. Yep, she's good. Oh. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Wild animal. Oh. Ah, I got a bunch of that stuff wrapped up around it. The RC trap. Oh, I almost lost that one in the sun. <laughs> Oh, shit. Lost power. <laughs> it landed right on the roof. I don't know what happened right there. It just stalled. I was in an upside down stall, and then I tried to bring it around, and it was nothing. The motor wires are coming loose. That might be part of the problem. <laughs> well, guys, that was a good tower test. I mean, she landed right on the, right on the roof, right on those towers. blew a tire oh man 
<laughs> Look at that. Which one was it? Yeah, this one right here. <laughs> this is a set I picked up on eBay. They're almost new when I vented them. But, uh, <laughs> oh well. I got a spare in the truck. I'll throw a spare on it. Oh, God. Hit a bottle. She's playing spin the bottle. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That <laughs> looks like my wings almost toast. Who says Italian won't backflip? All right, guys, that was LVC. Um, I'm gonna give her a break. She's getting kind of hot. Uh, the towers I still look straight. She took some uh, pretty, pretty rough uh, hits and rolls. Uh, I mean, going full blast couple of uh, roof landers upside down you know of course that's what we're uh, set out to do is test these towers i mean normally on an upside down landing you would definitely uh, uh bend your towers um it definitely put a lot of stress on them so looks like the only thing i got here is a busted uh <laughs> wing mount so i'll have to throw a new mount on it real quick all right guys we're going to go for somewhat of a uh, mega jump i'm at actually beside a grocery store <laughs> at this uh empty lot beside it and there's this uh man it better see because of the sun glare but there's a huge hill right here I got my ramp set up at the top of it, so we're going to do a, a parking lot uh, full speed run and launch off of it and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that was one long that was one long drop she sounds a little funky <laughs> that pillow ball stayed in at least i may have uh, shifted a motor mount yeah it tightened up my gear mesh <laughs> oh man I think that's more than she can handle. <laughs> that is by far the biggest launch I've ever done with any RC. <laughs> Definitely the uh, longest, the highest drop. Looks like it killed out the pillow ball again. Yep, I just can't keep that pillow ball in. Plus, I got something going on with a bearing. It sounds like in my center diff or something, so. I'm gonna have to go ahead and call it, but <laughs> other than that, I'm amazed that she took that. And the tower, the towers uh, still look straight. Losing my body mounts, but. Yep. Straight as narrow towers. Well, that's what we uh, were hoping for, so. <laughs> Busted the ESC mount loose too. Yeah, guys, that's uh, that's a little bit overkill right there. That's that was a pretty big jump. <laughs> I didn't expect her to live through that one 100%. So uh, anyway, guys, all right, it was a blast. We'll have to get out again soon. Uh, again, a huge shout out to uh, Mitch Looper from uh, M2C Racing, just uh, coming through with these awesome upgrades. So um, a big hats off to you, brother. So uh, we'll see you guys again next time. RC Did One. Peace out.